During web application testing on large scopes, it's normal that screenshots need to be made of multiple pages. This is where CodyCapt comes into play. CodyCapt is a lightweight terminal-based application packed with features that make capturing screenshots of web applications a breeze. In this tutorial, we'll dive into the depths of CodyCapt capabilities and teach you how to automate capturing screenshots. CodyCapt is not installed by default in Kali Linux, but can easily be installed using the APT by running the command sudo apt install CodyCapt. This will download and install the latest version of CodyCapt. Once installed, you can start using CodyCapt to capture screenshots. To capture a screenshot of a web page with CodyCapt, we need to set the URL and the output file. To set the URL, we can use a URL flag followed by a URL. This sets the screenshot target to a specific URL. A small item to be aware of is that CodyCapt requires the use of the equal sign. The next flag that we need to use is the output flag, followed by a file name. CodyCapt is able to store various file types. The most common image files, such as JPG, PNG and GIF, are supported. There are, however, other file types supported. These other file types include PDF, SVG and TIFF, among many. We can look at the CodyCap manual page to find more information on supported file types. Quite often, CodyCap takes either a screenshot that is too low in resolution or too high. To combat this issue, we can use the min width and min height flags. These flags are set by default to 800 pixels wide and 600 pixels high. We recommend to increase the width resolution to a more common resolution like 1920. Quite often, web pages do not render instantly and require some JavaScript or images to load in first. Some might even have animations that need to complete before they show the content. To prevent CodyCapt from taking the wrong screenshots, we can use the delay flag. When this flag is set, CodyCapt will wait the amount of milliseconds set after the page has been fully loaded. When we have many pages to take screenshots from, it's possible some of the pages might not respond. To prevent CodyCap from waiting too long, we can set the max wait flag. This flag sets the amount of milliseconds that CodyCap waits before considering the page to be unresponsive. If you like what you've seen so far, please leave a like. This tells us you like this kind of content. Sometimes we need to provide headers to our web application, either for authentication or to ensure that certain components of the page are loaded. CodyCap allows us to send headers along. We can do this with the headers flag followed by a header in a key value format. To change a user agent in CodyCapt, we can use the user agent flag. User agent is used by web applications to fingerprint what kind of browser is connecting to the web application. Some applications require a specific user agent before they allow connections. If you need to test many different endpoints, you could use Bash to automate taking screenshots. This can be done with a one-liner that reads data from a file named scope.txt. That file contains the websites that we need to take screenshots of. We then iterate through the file with a for loop that runs CodyCat on each item in the file. You should now know everything to be able to use CodyCat to capture screenshots for web application testing and documentation. We hope you learned something. If you did, please tell us what you have learned in the comments. Also, press the like button and subscribe. This would really help us in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.